Thank you, the Minister for Health and Medical Services, Honorable Ifremi Wangenambeti. Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Permanent Secretary for Health and Medical Services, Senior Officials of Ministry of Health and Medical Services, Media Partners, Ladies and Gentlemen, Bulominaka, and a very good morning to you all. Your Excellencies, members of uh, uh, your lady, uh, Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our Fiji's embrace of digital technology has changed our lives uh, in ways few once imagined. More areas of Fiji are covered by mobile broadband services than ever, and the rates have never been more affordable. More government services are online, more Fijians are making online payments and even uh, starting uh, digitally driven, <coughs> excuse me, driven businesses. As I speak, we are all being uh, broadcast live to viewers on uh, Facebook. And these days, I bet uh, some of you can imagine uh, going 24 hours without your smartphones. Very little, if any, of that was happening a decade ago. Today, that foundation of nationwide connectivity is transforming how our healthcare professionals treat patients as we today roll out 22 new portable digital x-ray machines in health facilities across Fiji, including some of the most remote rural and maritime pockets of the country. The single greatest advantage of these new machines is the rate at which they operate. We are cutting a 20-minute uh, traditional X-ray process down to about, I understand, five seconds. Uh, when you are awaiting treatment that uh, could save your life or spare you a great deal of pain, every second matters. We've just endured the painful impact of Cyclone Yasa. With this uh, equipment, at the ready in the aftermath of future storms, a uh, rapid on-site digital x-ray of an injured pigeon could mean the difference between life and death. That is what this uh, advancement means for our people. Suffering that will be spared and lives that will be saved. The digital x-ray process is not only faster, it delivers better care. The uh, images it captures can be quickly and securely sh uh, shared across our Nation, uh, national healthcare network, which is critical for the diagnosis of certain conditions. And it creates an accurate uh, digital record that informs better treatment anywhere in Fiji that treatment is sought. Up until, uh, up until now, only four hospitals in Fiji have been using digital X-ray machines. With this uh, $4.3 million handover of these 22 machines, that network of uh, digitized uh, patient information is nationwide. Rather than limit the availability of this technology to the hospitals in our urban centers, these digital machines will reach every division in the country. Because every Fijian deserves access to the best possible medical treatment and equipment. We can afford to provide, of course. And that's not only my opinion, it is the mandate of the Fijian constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, this investment arrives in the midst of the greatest healthcare challenge humanity has faced in 100 years, the COVID-19 pandemic. Unlike so much of the rest of the world, we in Fiji are safe from the coronavirus. We stopped our outbreak in its tracks and today marks day number 284 since we've recorded a local case of the virus. We didn't secure our COVID-contained status as a country by blindly pretending this pandemic could never reach us. For months, we watched carefully as the crisis grew from a distant epidemic to a global pandemic. For months, we prepared for the virus arriving at our shores. And when it did, we acted decisively in line with the best medical evidence available. Our record, of course, speaks for itself. Now, as the world is preparing for the next phase of its pandemic response, again, 
we are watching carefully. As uh, viable vaccines have become available, wealthier nations aren't wasting time getting jabs in arms as quickly as they can. Those governments are clear-eyed about the stakes of uh, humanizing their populations. And so are we here in Fiji. Fijians cannot afford to find ourselves at the back of the global queue when it comes to protecting ourselves from COVID-19. If countries like ours lose out to vac uh, uh, vaccinate our people, we'll be swept to the margins of the world's recovery where we'll be left more vulnerable than ever. The science behind these vaccines is clear. They will not succeed if, the, if uh, they only reach the arms of the rich. This is the global crisis. So long as any nation of any size remains vulnerable to an, to an outbreak, we are all vulnerable. And we look forward to working closely with all our development partners, as well as uh, pharmaceutical companies, to see that the uh, Fijians are immunized from this virus as soon as safely, uh, as soon and safely as possible. Not after the developed world, but alongside the citizens of wealthier nations. That is how we keep our people safe. That is how we keep our economy apace with a global recovery. Our work to secure effective vaccines quickly, equitably and affordably is top priority for my government. After which our focus will shift to administration in what will easily be the most complex logistical endeavor Fiji has ever undertaken. But we are ready, we must be ready because we know it will be well worth the effort. I trust our friends around the world uh, know it as well and uh, show it with their support. As we gear up for that next phase, investments like these new machines help ensure the quality of care we deliver is always improving and becoming more efficient. Despite the once in a century uh, challenge of this pandemic, our healthcare system isn't bending excuse me, and isn't breaking. Instead, it is uh, becoming stronger, more resilient, and more capable than ever of caring for our people. And whatever the future holds, that uh, the Fijian people can trust above all else that their health and well-being will always come first. And I thank you. You, you stay here, sir. We'll go to the other room and see the units. <laughs>